Hello, hi, I am very sick right now, which is why this video is a couple days late. I really did not want to get out of bed at all, but I am six months on testosterone. Um, so yeah, six months is kind of a milestone um, as far as people who make vlogs tracking their progress of testosterone goes. Um, I am feeling good, aside from being sick. Uh, but transition-wise, I'm feeling very, very good. Um, so a little update about the fact that I lowered my own dose. I finally actually called my doctor, who um, is in charge of my testosterone prescription, and basically she was just like, no, bad. And then she was like, just tell us next time. Um, she's super, super chill and super cool, so it all worked out. But um, for all of you, future reference, um, if you're going to change your dose uh, without consulting your uh, person, your doctor first, just at least tell them afterwards <laughs> um, so that they can know what's going on with you. They can't stop you. Um, no, yeah, she was very chill, and as long as you're lowering the dose, it's all fine. Same thing I said in the last video, lowering your dose with and making an educated decision about it is totally chill. Um, the mistake that I made was just to not have communication with my doctor about it, so don't do that shit. Um, and I do need to go in for blood work, I'm going to as soon as I'm feeling better. Also, I should mention, I don't have COVID, I have the flu, but I went and got a test and it was negative. I just have a really shitty flu that's been going on for like a week and a half now. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, testosterone. Um, the reason that I lowered my dose from 0.4 to 0.3 milliliters per week is because my acne, as you can see, um, got super fucking bad and I figured that if I lowered my dose, hopefully it would make my skin chill out. Um, it's starting to slowly slowly it's starting to chill out a little bit more it's starting to get better um i may have to try and go to a dermatologist and figure out solutions that are not related to lowering my dose because i still want to go through the male puberty and everything like that so um it might not be a problem that is solved through lowering testosterone, but I think that the lowering the dose did help a little bit, just not as much as I was hoping. Um, and the acne really sucks. It's awful, and it makes me feel disgusting, and it is exactly as bad and actually worse than I thought it would be, but um, the trade-off is worth it as, you know, I get to be a guy. And I'm actually stealth um, at school, I'm going to college online, and um, it's really nice to just not have to worry about how people perceive me and whether people know and, you know, whether people see me differently because they know what I was like pre-transition um, and all of the things that I had to worry about in high school, I don't have to think about anymore, and it's a huge weight off my shoulders. Um, and I don't know how long I will be stealth, like I don't know when I go on campus whether I will continue to be stealth, but I really like it, and um, I don't know, it's like as long as they don't find this YouTube channel, you know, um, they won't know, and or my TikTok I'm also out on, but yeah, it's just, it's nice, um, it's really nice, and um, it's just a very freeing from a burden that I've had to carry for so much of my pre-medical transition adolescence. Um, so yeah, um, my hairline is still receding a little bit. My eyebrows are definitely filling in. Um, I am hairier all over. It's starting to really get like, the hair is, is coming on, coming on thick and strong. Um, my arms, my legs, all the way up to my thighs. Um, I have a considerable amount of hair on my tummy and a happy trail, and I'm starting to actually get little hairs on my chest. I actually had to shave for the first time in my life, um, like, a, f a few weeks ago, because it was actually, like, the hairs were noticeable enough and, like, grody enough that I actually had to shave, and that was... That was something. Um, I don't know. It didn't feel as much like a rite of passage as I thought it would. It kind of just felt like, ew, get rid of this. Um, but, you know, 
I'm still, uh, the hair itself, my relationship with it is a lot different than I thought it would be. I thought I would be a lot more grossed out by it and that I wouldn't like it, but it's actually, like, really affirming and just makes me feel more like myself and, I don't know, it's kind of badass, like, <laughs> it's not gross, it's just, like, a normal amount of body hair and, um, yeah. Other than that, um, you know, my voice, as you can hear, is still steadily dropping and it's starting to crack less and less. I can still make it crack intentionally if I want to, but it doesn't really crack a whole bunch when I'm just talking. Um, my physique is still masculinizing and I can put on muscle mass fairly easily. I haven't been working out necessarily, but I just... I don't know, I'm a little bit more toned just by virtue of, like, the activities that I do engage in, which, like, we, we have fires, my roommate and I have fires, um, and, like, so he taught me how to chop wood and everything like that, which, by the way, is the most powerful feeling in the world, um, but just, like, chopping wood, lifting stuff, um, going on bike rides and stuff like that, it's just, I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm healthy, and it's, my body is like toned ish it's i don't know <laughs> but all i know is that it's masculinizing um and my waist is filled out and everything like that and um where fat does get distributed um is in masculine areas so my tummy um and where muscle gets distributed is also in masculine areas. So everything uh, is just kind of redistributing, whether it's fat or muscle, in a way that is nice to look at for me personally. Um, so, you know, whether or not I'm shredded is fine. It's I still look masculine. Um, and that's what matters. And um, I don't know. Other than that, like no other major changes. I mean, everything's just going along pretty steadily. Um, and I'm waiting on this Adam's apple. It hasn't shown up yet. Rude. <laughs> um, yeah, emotional changes. I don't know. I f don't feel different. Like I don't, I, it's harder to cry, but nothing has really happened that has made me cry recently. I've been super happy and like having a great time aside from being sick, which has just been, you know, a couple of weeks. So like, I don't know. I, I personally can't really tell a difference of my emotional changes other than just, I feel happy and confident and I'm in a good place because I was able to transition. And, um, you know, sometimes I just think about how far I've come from, you know, how awful it was and, and how just all consuming my dysphoria was. Um, and what a dark place I was in a lot of the time. And so it's like, when I think about that, then yeah, I would say emotional changes for sure since starting T and having top surgery. Um, but that's not so much because of the T is like doing things chemically in my brain. It's just because, you know, I'm happy and I'm correct. Um, and six months is, six months is tight. <laughs> um, so yeah. I would say, in general, my dysphoria is pretty much gone. I have voice dysphoria still sometimes, and with being stealth, I often wonder if people can tell. Um, I feel like other trans people or other people who are, like, cued in uh, probably can tell that I'm trans based on my voice. Um, but I feel like if you're not super cued in on, like, what a trans male voice sounds like, people probably wouldn't clock me. Um, it's just something I think about probably more than literally anyone else does. Um, so people probably just perceive me as male whether they know if I'm trans or not. Um, and honestly, that's what matters. It's just, it gets to me sometimes. Um, and my voice is not as deep as I want it to be. It's very much a, like, trans man TM, like like you know what I'm talking about you know what I'm talking about um so yeah it's my voice is not where I want it but it's it's listenable and it's bearable and my singing voice is is nice uh is getting better um and then I do have bottom dysphoria kind of a lot not so much with like uh sex or like my relationship with it in terms of like it's, it's more about, like, 
my biology in terms of what's inside of me and like the fact that I have a uterus and um, stuff of that sort is more like like the fact that I could potentially get pregnant is like literally disgusting. So it's not so much the like outer biology that bothers me. Um, it's just the fact that like I still have those facilities <laughs> inside um, really sucks. Like really sucks. And those that that's the thing that that gets to me more than anything else. It's it's just the internal stuff that bothers me. It's not like I have periods um <laughs> or anything like that because that would make me want to die um but it's just the the knowledge you know and the kind of psychological um shit because eventually i will probably get some sort of surgery either just like to make it so that i'm not fertile or um just get the whole thing taken out um whatever i decide that's down the line obviously um, so that's, those are the only sources of my dysphoria at this point, and then, other than that, like, it's, I'm big chillin', like, I feel great about myself, and the dysphoria is not at all to the caliber that it was pre-medical transition, um, and I'm very, very grateful for that, because now I can actually live and, like, enjoy life and enjoy who I am and be more fulfilled in every other facet of my life because all of that brain capacity that went towards uh, agonizing over my body um, is now I can put it into other things and it's it's incredible and I'm very grateful and I will say that in every update video probably but I am very very grateful I don't know how many of these I'll make probably till a year and then do like yearly updates but yeah I just wanted to track my progress for myself so we'll see what I decide to do going forward um, I will be putting out a song uh, when I get a little bit better um, and I'm less congested and I can actually make it sound good um, but yeah, that's that's mostly all I have to say. Um, thank you. Thank you for watching. Please take care of yourself. Bye-bye.